Wild Viral Channel presents Tibetan Mastiff vs. Turkish Kangal Hello friends, today I inaugurate a new series of videos that I hope you like. It's not a video like the ones in the Who Would Win series, here we don't analyze who will win a possible fight. It is a comparative presentation of two dog breeds. The goal is to see which dog will accumulate more points, taking into account a lot of characteristics. But whatever the outcome, you need to understand that this does not mean that one dog is better than another. There is no better breed and worse breed, only breeds that fit your needs better than others. That being said, the dogs we will be talking about today are the Tibetan Mastiff and the Turkish Kangal. As you can see, the Kangal was recognized by the AKC in 1996, and the Tibetan Mastiff was recognized 11 years later, in 2007. The two dog breeds have an approximately equal life expectancy, 10 to 12 years, with a slight advantage for Kangal. They are about the same size, with the specification that the Tibetan Mastiff has a more robust constitution, while the Kangal is more athletic. Being a guard dog, the Tibetan Mastiff has a harder time enduring loneliness than the Kangal, who is a shepherd dog. Both breeds are very affectionate with family members, and even with small children. The only danger to children in the case of these two dogs is that being very big they can hurt them unintentionally. The Tibetan Mastiff can withstand extreme frosts without any problems, but it does not withstand the heat very well. From this point of view, the Kangal is a bit more balanced. Being strong, dominant dogs, with a very well-developed guard instinct, it is not surprising that these dogs will not tolerate too well the presence of strangers or other dogs. Being a shepherd dog, the Kangal will be more protective of the animals in his care. As you can see, both breeds feel an acute need to be part of the pack, they excel in defense, always being vigilant to any possible threat. They are working dogs, who always want to please their owners. Both breeds are very intelligent, but the fact that they are independent does not make them very easy to train. When it comes to physical qualities, you will hardly find rivals to match these Hercules. Both are extraordinarily strong and tough dogs, going shoulder to shoulder in this regard. The Kangal has a small advantage here, because being more athletic, is faster and more agile. I think there is nothing more to say here, these dogs excel as watchdogs and guard dogs, whether we are talking about the protection of property or livestock. These are the main qualities for which these breeds are so loved and appreciated. There is not much to say here either, these dogs simply were not selected for such services. Of course, pulling weights is not a problem for such strong dogs, here they will do even admirably. Again very few points to collect from here, these breeds were not selected for hunting or to retrieve. However. Pulling a sled will not be a problem, they will do it easily even if they do not like it. In the end, for more qualities in which these two breeds do not excel, managing to accumulate 10 and 9 points out of 40 possible. As you can see, the Kangal wins this showdown with 220 to 218 points. Given how many characteristics we took into account, and that we may have been wrong sometimes, I would say that these two dogs are rather equal. What do you think? Which of the two dogs is your favorite? Would you like to see more videos like this on this channel? Thank you.